Don't give up. No one likes a critter. <laughs> the Loud House is a show about kids. A whole lot of kids. But it isn't just for kids. Yeah, there's a lot of dark comedy and adult undertones hidden within the show. So much so that much of it ended up on the cutting room floor. Or perhaps they just didn't have the time to cram in all of the antics that Luna, Lola, Lenny, Luann, Lori, Lincoln, Lynn, Lana, Lucy, Lisa, and Lily get up to in any given episode. Whether they're too much for television or they leave a bit to be desired, join Screen Rant as we take you on a tour of the Loud House and their rejected moments. 1. Luann is known for her pranking ways, especially on April Fools. Luann's on the loose! Take cover! Hey! In one particular prank which was cut probably for its extended nature and the fact that it's basically a casual form of torture, Ow! Luann surrounds a sleeping Lincoln with cups of water. Lincoln wakes up to find red cups all around his bed. Every inch of his room is covered. So in order to move on, he needs to drink his way out. After clearing his room, he opens the door to find his adjacent hallway is also lined with cups. We guess Luann timed this prank out knowing Lincoln's wake-up time since no one else seems to have walked through this hallway. Anyway, Lincoln consumes all the water in every cup. And naturally, with that much liquid in his body, he needs to get it out somehow. Lincoln reaches the bathroom door. He touches the knob, and it falls off the door, leaving him no way in. 2. In another April Fool's episode, Fool Me Twice, the family loses patience with Luann's over-the-top tricks and decides to take action. The other Loud family members replace themselves with stunt doubles to take their place. The actual family members hide in the garage and watch the activities going on inside the house in relative safety. They're shocked to find that nothing happens to their stunt doubles. To their dismay, Luann reveals to the hiding family members that she knew all along that they were trying to trick her. Before Luann's big reveal, however, a deleted scene showed that Clyde had been gathering reconnaissance on Luann by dressing as an old man in a wheelchair. And in order to stay in character, Clyde had a big bag at his side, showing that he's been going to the bathroom without literally going to the bathroom. He'd relieved himself using a bag attached to his chair. Since this was considered a bit too graphic, the moment hit the cutting room floor. 3. Storyboards exist of another prank sequence cut from the April Fool's episode, where Lincoln views a map of the house. Certain rooms may be crossed out, but we're ultimately not sure which particular uncrossed out room Lincoln heads toward. We just see him marching back inside the house. Then while we hear the action occurring inside the house, we the audience are left to simply view the outside of the house. Through its use of sound effects, the show forces us to imagine the insane things going on inside. Then the show gives us the icing on top for this sequence. While we never exactly see what happens between Lincoln and Luann and the other siblings, we're shown a wide shot of the landscape around the house. In the far distance, a massive explosion blooms over the horizon, indicating that the commotion on the inside of the Loud House escalated into total war. 4. Lisa Loud, similar to a certain yellow-skinned Lisa from a different cartoon comedy, is the resident genius. Now, in addition to English, I speak Mandarin, Latin, Swedish, and West Coast rap. However, in one episode, Lisa Loud takes on a certain very specific change. She becomes a stereotypical teenage ditz, unlike her normal brilliant self. This situation allows us to see a whole new side of the character and causes some fun problems for the Loud family household. While Lisa is back to her normal self by the end of the episode, the creative team cut a short moment in which Lisa yanks off her new ditzy outfit. Perhaps they thought a character yanking off their clothes was a bit too suggestive. Still, Lisa has to change somehow, especially since we see her again in her usual attire. And hey, maybe this could have served as a great teaching moment for younger kids who need to get better at preparing their clothes to change into for the next school day. Eh, why not? 5. This deleted idea goes all the way back to the beginning of the show. Loud House creator Chris Savino has revealed that the characters in The Loud House were originally bunnies, and this may explain why there's so many family members on the show. 23, 24, 25? Man, that's a lot of sisters. And perhaps may also clear up why there's still several sisters who were ultimately deleted from the program. The episode titled White Hair gives us a glimpse of what The Loud House would have been like if the characters were bunny rabbits. Here we're introduced to a sister named Beverly, who has a personality like Lori and wears clothes similar to Luann. Since we already have Lori and Luann on the show, it's likely that having a sister like Beverly appearing on the show on a regular basis wouldn't have provided enough of a new personality to play with. And thankfully, the show's creative team limited the number of siblings living inside the Loud House. 6. 
You'd think Luann's pranks would be focused on her family, but this girl lacks a lot of dignity and common sense. This particular deleted scene depicts a prank between Luann and the Loud family friend, Clyde. Storyboards of this scene show Clyde on his way to the Loud house. He reaches the front porch and hits a tripwire. This sets off a sprinkler which shoots water into his face. Then he's bombarded by hay, or grass, or yellow hair. Let's call it hay, because once he's covered from head to toe with the stuff, a swarm of crows swoops down from the sky and attacks the poor guy. A group of crows is actually called a murder, and although they don't do any foul play on Clyde, Luann should be thankful this murder of crows didn't cause Clyde to pursue legal action against the Loud family. 7. In the Halloween-themed episode Tricked, Lincoln and Clyde plot to get a loot of candy. To get the most bang for their buck, their plan includes getting full-sized candy bars, the ultimate Halloween dream. In a deleted scene, the boys head over to Huntington Manor and stand on a wealthy lady's doorstep. She answers the door for the enterprising trick-or-treaters and offers the boy a tray featuring your standard small-sized Halloween candy. The boys are disappointed, but the woman assures them that these small pieces of candy are just sample sizes for them to choose from. Once they select their preferred candy, the woman gets full-sized candy bars for Lincoln and Clyde's enjoyment. When the candy is chosen, angelic voices sing from on high as the boys get their wish of full-sized candy bars from this generous woman. 8. In another episode titled Lock and Loud, the children of the Loud House were taught the valuable safety lesson of keeping the door locked at night. Since there's the potential for a burglar to be prowling about the neighborhood under the cover of darkness, Lynn Sr. hatches a plan to give Lenny and Lola the ultimate lesson in home safety. There's a mannequin dressed in a face mask and shorts, and nothing else. Lenny takes a selfie with the burglar mannequin and flirts with the inanimate object. When Lincoln and Clyde announce the news that the neighborhood burglar is now in the authorities' custody, Lenny says that she and the burglar should have run off together, except she's referring to the mannequin she'd taken a selfie with earlier. In a deleted moment, Lenny looks at the selfie and a tear splashes onto her smartphone screen. 9. In one episode, Lincoln brings a volcano project to school, but it just does not compare to Clyde's nearly perfect rendering. Lincoln had tried to get help from his parents, but they were too preoccupied with Lincoln's sisters. Later, Lincoln goes over to Clyde's house, where he sees just how well Clyde's dads treat their son. It's Clyde's dad's attention and affection that allowed Clyde to have such a high-quality volcano in the first place. In a deleted scene from that episode, Lincoln witnesses just how needy his sisters are, having let slip to his sisters just how attentive Clyde's dads are. The deleted scene features the sisters of the Loud House surrounding Clyde's dads as the two grown men are left overwhelmed in horror. Ugh, maybe it's hopeless. Look, we think the Loud parents do a pretty good job themselves. It's just hard raising so many kids to give them all equal attention. Dang it! I always do it wrong! Ten. In Lock and Loud, the episode about the burglar loose in the Loud House's neighborhood, the Loud kids go out of their way to protect themselves. Lisa reveals, however, that she's already had certain safety measures in place for some time. For instance, she's had cameras installed in the bathrooms for the previous year. They also try to train their dog to be more of a guard dog. But the character who appears to be the toughest just might be Baby Lily. A deleted moment included Lily punching her fist into her palm. As if to say, Lily, even in her infantile stature, was the toughest cookie in the house. While she often seems only as smart as a baby her age, nope, she's no secret Stewie Griffin here. We are 100% sure that if push came to shove, Lily could take care of herself. 11. In one of the more well-known sequences cut from the show, Lynn takes her competing so far she starts to get hurt. Let's face it, Lynn is way too involved to make any competition fun, but when she tries to outbrush her own teeth, a tooth falls out of her mouth. Now, this particular moment ended up in the show, but originally, her aggressive brushing caused her gums to bleed. If you ask us, it's not that funny. It more so registers on the gross and disturbing spectrum, which is likely why they cut it from the show. 12. Blanche, another sister from White Hair, would have provided some interesting story angles if she were included in the show on a regular basis. She's the rabbit sister who's always sick, and while her own ailments and allergies may seem incurable, she'd be helpful to have around. Check her allergies first! Having been afflicted a number of times herself, Blanche carries allergy test pads around with her, and seems like she'd be pretty decent at diagnosing others. Like a kind of living rabbit WebMD. Yet if this was one of the characters intended for the original version of Loud House, we assume the creative team would flesh out her character a bit more. Since she only appeared in one fantasy episode, they didn't have much time to give Blanche more character traits beyond making her be the sick one. 13. 
Lucy's love for the Vampires of Melancholia, a fake TV show within the world of Loud House, seems to know no bounds. In the episode Fandom Pains, Lucy watches the show until her sisters start to watch the show with her. While Lucy loves the character of Edmund, her sisters have the hots for Blake Bradley's dreamboat character Tristan. Lucy loses her patience over her sisters fawning. In order to get her sisters to stop watching, she goes around and gets people to sign a petition with the intention of getting Blake Bradley kicked off the show. In a deleted moment connected to Lucy's plot, she and her Mortician's Club friends gather outside and protest with the phrase, The bro must go! Since the protest was cut from the show, hopefully there's room for other moments of protest in future episodes. 14. Bippa is another sister from the bunny-centric episode White Hair. If you haven't caught on already, the members of this family all have names starting with B, as a mirror to the Loud family, who all have names starting with L. Pippa, whose name just might be a nod to the British slang term Pip Pip, is a fan of all things British. She might have developed this affinity from her father, who's a fan of the UK. In stereotypical British fashion, Pippa is seen always carrying a teapot with her. She also holds an open umbrella, even when she's indoors. It's nice to not be superstitious about open umbrellas indoors, but maybe that's why she's not been lucky enough to appear in the show as a series regular. Well, here's hoping she's able to appear someday in a jolly old spin-off. Until then, pip pip to her! Oh yeah, mate! And just how do you plan on getting past the 25 of us? 15. And Brooke is another sister who only exists as a bunny in the episode White Hair. Yet she also could have had a bigger role in the show had the original concept of a family of bunnies gone forward before the show officially launched. Unlike Blanche, who just suffers from constant sicknesses, Brooke seems to be perfectly healthy. Physically, at least. Mentally, she seems to have a whole lot of stress on her mind. In fact, her most notable character trait in the one episode where we do see her is paranoia. Unlike her sister Bippa, she doesn't tote around a cute teapot or an open umbrella, she just brings with her a ton of emotional baggage, and the occasional surgical mask for protection. What if you grow old and alone? What if I grow old and alone? What if the world ends tomorrow? Like her sisters, more appearances on the show could have given her more interesting character traits, but for now, we'll just have to remember her as the paranoid one. So now you know a little bit more about your favorite family and their overcrowded house. But are there any storyboarded moments, scenes, or characters cut from the show that you wish we included? Let us know in the comments section below, and keep watching Screen Rant for more illuminating videos just like this one. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.